In the epistle of St. James, we are told that religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for the orphan and the widow in their distress. Well, that sounds absolutely amazing, and relatively simple even. But is it really that simple? It seems to me like the desire to do this is fairly universal. Right now we find ourselves in an election year, and that of course shines the light on this era of hyperpartisan politics. But beneath all the bluster, each party, each faction, and I don't believe it's inauthentic, claims to really care about the common man and the common woman, claims to really care about caring for the orphan and the widow in their distress. But the problem that arises is this. We become so convinced that our particular pathway, our particular way of caring for the orphan and the widow, is the best one, the only one that works, and the other side is surely motivated by impure things, such as malice or ignorance. The one thing we all seem to have in common is anger, a hatred for the other side and for what they espouse. But we dare not ignore what James writes just a few verses before this one. Our anger does not produce God's righteousness. It never does. So if in our quest to care for the orphan and the widow in their distress, we feel like we must resort to anger and hatred, to a sense that the other side is simply an obstacle to be overcome and, if necessary, destroyed, we've completely missed the point. Perhaps the first discipline we need to exercise in that quest to care for the orphan and the widow in their distress is to curb and redirect our anger, to realize that even if we think every last detail of what the other side is saying doesn't work, perhaps even is pure folly, there is no need for anger, no need for violence, nor need for any destructive emotion, but rather a sense of common cause and a sense that God, in God's wisdom and God's timing, will somehow manage to reconcile that which feels irreconcilable.